As you wake from the cool gray tones of the coastal spring morning, your AI house assistant begins brewing coffee. Your partner rolls during intercourse, murmuring. Down the hall, the youngsters grumbly snooze their alarms. You lever up, swing feet onto polished concrete, along with the hammer of one other day in paradise comes crashing down. Why aren't you content? What's missing? What can fill this hole? Nothing, really, because happiness emanates from within, and you've been in empty for the decade. As you wrestle with this particular fact again, turning it over for the unseen edge, a low-profile seam, you catch a lime green glimpse the window, breath hitching. It wasn't a goal. You discreet a whoop. Running with the house. Call the institution. Call your place of work. We're getting a family day. The challenge with success is that it is cumulative. When you have the ideal family, the right job, the ideal life, perfect becomes normal, and normal sucks. You need something more. Enter Roos. Whether that family day goes to the Nürburgring Nord's life or even the circuit from the Americas, Times Square and the Mall of America, the Skittles bright Lamborghini Russe will light a childlike fire in each of you since you pile in striking the fighter-style, shielded start engine button, putting spark to your twin-turbo V8's Neronian conflagration. That 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 may not have the cylinder count of Lamborghini's V10 and V12 mid-engine supercars, the Aventador and Huracan, and, due to a new sound limit law in California using a cap of 95 decibels, it doesn't their very own bark either, but it has the bite. With 650 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute and 627 lbfd of torque from 2,2504, 500 revolutions per minute, the Russe's sub 4,850 pound claimed curb weight isn't a hindrance into a blistering and easily repeatable and ready conservative launch controlled 3.6 second sprint to 62 miles per hour nor is its low slung yet hulking multifaceted silhouette an impediment to its 189 miles per hour top speed. So there you have it, in every performance metric very often matters, the Russe is undeniably Lamborghini. But that's not the entire story. Loosed to normal at Val Elunga in Italy, a scant two sessions of three hot laps each from the offing, the Russe rises towards the challenge. Led in an unusually fast pace because of the race driver on the head in our three-car pack. The chance stretch the Super Suv's legs shows it contains the stuff it needs inside Brake Zone's world's largest car on ceramics, with 10 piston front calipers and 6 piston rear and within the corners active roll stabilization, adaptive air suspension to back its meteoric power. Is it a superbly balanced four-wheeled symphony, revelatory to use grace? No. But it's handily the world's most dynamically capable production SUV, and would be able to hang with any flock of super sedans within the hands of any capable and confident driver. Better yet, unlike those spiffy super sedans, the Russe's party doesn't end in the event the pavement does. A few hundred meters away, a rally-style course carved through the Italian hillsides adjacent to your track is our next playground. Smoother than your average wild dirt road, but laden with fine, silty dust and volcanic gravel, the dirt course is less about off-road challenge and even more about low friction fun. Here, the Lamborghini's variable all-wheel drive system has its own chance to truly shine, allowing big throttle wallops to sling the tail around being a cool Ajira bootlegger, with digital witchery managing torque, slip angle, and much more. Genuine fun, just don't forget about the protective wrap to the neurasthenic paint. But these forays into Malay's delay can't last forever. A weekend here, a secondary there, and you'll be right back inside the loop of death by perfection.
Fortunately, this Lamborghini isn't just to the occasional dalliance. It's for a lifetime, the whole thing. Those grumpy, sleepy kids might basically waste I now, but soon they'll be gangly teens, straining for his or her own space everywhere even so the back seat from the Roos. Given the Roos fast back profile and low overall height just 64.5 inches tall, you could think it'd exclude taller passengers within the second row, but you'd be wrong. The Roos is made to comfortably fit passengers as tall as 6 feet, 3 inches tall. I don't have any problem crossing the county, or possibly a continent, in any on the available seats. Given the choice, however, I'd opt for the driver's seat. On the street, the Roos is surprisingly refined overall, from ride comfort to wind and road noise. There's some chop over rougher pavement, a difficulty no doubt worsened about the available 23 inch wheels, the world's largest offering from the car manufacturer, for the purpose that's worth, perhaps the reason why those huge rollers weren't designed for our testing. We made do using the 22 inchers which were available, and in some cases with a rare rough spot, found nothing worse than Lina sedan of equivalent performance. Behind the spacious and cozy rear seats, Lamborghini has tardized in 21.7 cubic feet of storage space, enough for two main golf bags placed crosswise, or nearly 56.4 cubic feet with all the rear seats laid flat. Gear, groceries, room aplenty. Of course, it isn't easy getting most of these seemingly conflicting features to come together especially for just a brand that's historically built go-fast performance art. But on account of Lamborghini's chief technical officer Maurizio Reggiani and his awesome team of engineers, that's what the company was able to do. The engine, traditionally, may be the heart of an Lamborghini. But the Russes 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 will depend on a Volkswagen Group design. The cylinder block emanates from the group, says Regini. The job that individuals did is within the more important part in the engine. If you want to have power, that is inside cylinder, right? Camshaft, intake manifold, turbo, and exhaust systems are the place you create the flow of air, so when you make the back pressure of engine, plus in this part is simply Lamborghini, prepared for Lamborghini. And you will find there's reason why only our V8 has 650 horsepower and 627 lbft with this level of RPM. That allowed us to achieve the best responsiveness on the engine once you accelerate and there's something which is much more complex compared to your other V8 applications, however it is what allowed us being different from your others. Nevertheless it's not assume all about raw power and force using the Rus, or with Lamborghini right now, says Regini. When I visited Lamborghini 23 in the past, it was still the motto. We were bigger and stronger inside engine department and the rest was just like a contour for the engine, to your power play. Now it's clear how the world has completely changed in 23 years. The approach on the car seemingly different, more and much more technology inside the interiors, inside the exteriors, in design. You are not in a position to finish a motor vehicle if you think that in a very car like ours, with engine inside front, the remaining can be a complementary accessory. And the Roost delivers the expected goods inside the digital interfaces that light the screens lining the very center stack and instrument panel. 2. It's all decidedly Lamborghini in graphic design, but familiarly Volkswagen Group to use structure and function. It works great, since you should expect of the $200,000-ish SUV using a supercar pedigree. Ultimately, which the Roos does all with the day-to-day -day stuff well is almost as impressive since its performance. So what's the issue? The catch is you need consumption. You want the off-kilter, the slightly warped, 
to throw just a little chaos to your picture a perfect world. You want the perfectly imperfect vehicle to your auto perfect life. You require the Rus. 2019 Lamborghini Rus specifications. Late 2018. Price. $204,000 estate. Engine. 4.0 liters dock 32 valve turbocharged V8 650 HP at 6000 revolutions per minute, 627 lbft at 4500 revolutions per minute. Transmission 8 speed automatic. Layout 4 door, 4.5 passenger, front engine, AWD SUV. EPA mileage. Na. LXWXH. 201.2 by 79.4 by 64.5 inches, wheelbase. 118.2 inches, weight. 4,850 pounds estate. 060 miles per hour, 3.6 seconds, top speed. 189.5 miles per hour.